All right. Let's see. Taking a couple of thieves from the Southern Empire. Doesn't look like they're trying to make peace already. So, we probably we want to just finish them off, even if we can't uh, make, make plans as efficiently as possible. It should be okay. Let's see, I have a lot of influence. So I can make one clan. So basically my, my choice is either do I want to use that now to make a clan? Let's make one for, for Ficon here with an Imperial. Or I can wait until um, either they take a castle or something like that. On their own, I can just make one in the field at the moment. That way I don't, I'm not stuck having to give it to a vessel. I don't want to give the castle. Like I don't, I don't want to give this castle to one of my clans who there are other castles like, like way back here or something. I would rather either make a new clan or give it to like the person who had, like we doubled up this one here or the person who gets this when we take it or even this one, that would be okay. But you don't really have that kind of control in the game though. I can't say, I can't even like propose, like the game doesn't calculate that this person here should get another thief. The C in black tooth. So let's see, let's look at his thing here. They have average wealth, they have one thief. We look at their thief here. That's a decent sized garrison. They're taking good care of it, everything is fine. They're, they're a fine clan. Uh, I can't even say, you know, It'd be good for them to get this fief over here that's in relative proximity to their, you know, same same with this one too. This one would be good too, but you just can't do that right now. And that's too bad. It's too bad that um, we have to rely on the game to calculate who should go on the ballot. And we can't just uh, maybe in addition to that calculation, like really what I would do is have that calculation pop up as if it's your advisor telling you that. Like, oh, these are the blah, 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 you know. And then you can maybe reject one of them and replace them with another one that you want. And then your vassals can vote on it. And then they can get all mad if you don't agree with them. You know, there, there should be some play to it. It shouldn't just be like, here's just what it is. Pick one. Um, because the calculation, it just doesn't do a good job. Because last time, you know, like for, I forget which FIFA it was. But it was trying to give me the ones that have like the towns down here. And part of it is just because it looks at their power. So because they have a bigger garrison and maybe slightly more money already, they maybe have slightly bigger parties too, and they have a little more power, so they get calculated as like the one. They might have more influence too. But, um, you know, that you get it, but it's like that's really bad. They're not going to, they're not competent enough to really take care of a thief that far away. They can get summoned to an army or make an army and come over here, but they're not going to, they're not going to like, do a good job on their own. All right, let's give it, get into playing the game. That's enough of a rant. A lot of stuff to level up here. I definitely level these up so I don't get killed by a pebble or something. If I would have, next time, when I have that many, I'll try to level them up since I have, I have plenty of money now, I can try to level them all up right away. You know, just just fighting whatever before I take them to siege or anything. Because just being rank 6 does help them have a better survivability chance than... Um, see. Oh, I have plenty of space too. I can take whatever I can grab. Okay. Let's see, where are you going? Somebody, somebody got it bigger. Okay. Okay. Yeah, everybody, they're all born around the same time, so it's kind of just a succession of this, you know. I think we do that. Intelligence is a good bet. Let me do this. So I'm not sure if this is different for each one or if it's going to be the same. Because I know I want to say Stuart, but then it gives me something stupid. Okay, but that's actually that's not bad. Charm isn't stupid because they can sit in um. Well, now that I take it back. 
because charm really affects your whole clan. So having the individual clan members with high charm, I don't know. I don't know if that does. I mean, it's okay. It's something. They at least can, you know, sit in a town and gain charm skill, but okay. Okay, so they both give me charm, whichever one I do. Um, do we do the Stuart? They definitely, that's good. Of course, I mean, chances are the game will be over. I mean, these, these characters barely get to do anything. Let me see. I think the good play here would be to take this town. And then either see if they will give it to me again. I probably have too many towns now because I have um, three towns. It seems to kind of fluctuate whether, you know, three or four towns is too much for them to put me on the ballot. But we can just see. And then if, because I have the 500 influence, if they won't give it to me, I can just make one on the spot there. And then, because for some reason, you know, they didn't siege this castle. I think they were going to, but, um. I don't know. I think taking the town first makes more sense. And what else have we got? And we've got another town down here. I like that they're separated, though. I like that, um... Making them have a big space to go back and forth between. Not that Ubrige is, like, a serious, like, enemy or anything. They're basically ruined already. But, let's see. Okay, so we've got big garrison... Plenty of food. Um, big militia. So this is a large, large town. If I want to take them, I can try to also pull in some armies too. If there's anyone nearby, let's see. We'll manage our army. I don't know that it makes them super useful in the siege, but we can try. Let's see. Distance. Yeah, I'll take I'll take you guys. Come on. There should be a fair amount of them. Kinda. Okay, that's one day. As long as it's not multiple days, we should be fine. So we can start that siege, and by the time we're ready, these people will show up. So this is like... Becoming a little excessive, but we'll... Okay, that's enough. That is that is going to be enough. That took your influence. We'll get that back, though. And then, okay, we have... This gets boosted, I guess, just by doing that. So we don't have to do that again right now. Oh, okay. I think this is a fine idea. Oh. I could have sworn it just showed my influence drop down while I was in that screen. Like, like I was spending my influence. Maybe it takes it when they actually show up, though. I'm not sure. That could be. I'll have to watch and see. Yeah, we'll besiege this town. Yep. Alright, get these siege gears going. We'll build these two, even though we don't need them. Can't quite click that. Let's see. And yeah, I, d I don't think an army is going to show up to, to fight me this time. I think. I think we'll just. Or still knock down the walls just for fun. Yeah, I'll go into reserve. Hmm. Everybody's showing up. I like that some of my minor clans spawn with camels instead of instead of uh the horses. Oh, and there's that other army running around. I think it's their side members that get a camel and not the the wander that you actually promote. Some of the side characters seem to use templates from the minor clan lords. Which, which is cool. 
Unless it's like the Hidden Hand or Ember of the Flames, then that's not a very good template for a Lord to have. Because those are like the little joke enemies you can fight. We're just getting started. Let's see. Oh, did, is that all of them? Oh, I already made all of them. I, for some reason, I thought that I didn't make them all already. Okay. Here we go. We could be mean and just like auto calc this, but I think we'll I think we'll do a we'll do a normal siege. Will be nice. There's no no reason to do that. Although it is funny. Yeah, these go go. We don't actually want to bring those if we have the walls breached or that. We don't need to do that either. Actually, no, no. I changed my mind. This this has an interesting effect when the walls are breached, because only a few of them will actually go push it. Go only a few of them push it, but. It makes the enemy on the inside go in front of that door. So even if you're not trying to go in that door, just breaking the first gate makes them go to that door, which means there's someone less enemies on the breached walls. So, and when you go in there like that, you get them from both sides. So it's kind of, we'll give it a shot here. We gotta get those walls down. And it's an Imperial thief, so. I'm assuming it gets the Imperial bonus and it's a little faster at putting out those siege weapons. But it doesn't look like they're gonna bust any of mine. Which strangely, some of like even the Serai ones were were wearing down my trebuchets with just ballistas. Just spamming ballistas really fast. Okay, okay. Let's see. Walls are down. Okay, well let's blow up that catapult. We don't need to mess with that yet. There we go. Okay. They're gonna, t they're gonna, well, that's okay. In fact, if we get ours first, it would be, I would like to give both of these to one Imperial clan. That actually makes, that's good. And we're at the point where we have so many clans that we don't, you know, we don't need, you know, making more and more isn't as much of a big deal. It's still good. I still think one for one is more powerful than, um, Trying to, you know, stack them up under the same one. Let's see. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. And I might have even missed one while I was scrolling by. So at least you have at least 33 clans under us now. So we're doing pretty good. We're we're pretty we're gonna become pretty big here, especially as they start actually saving up their money. Because you see, like some of the earlier clans are already rich. Eventually, all of these guys are gonna be doing a lot better. Um, I wish I could take credit for it, like. Saying I did something to make them more economically competent, but I don't think I really did. Or if it is, it's it's incidental. It's not something I did on purpose. It could be just because I'm kind of like bulldozing most of the enemies myself and they're not losing that many troops. For, you know, I mean, they must be losing somewhat less troops. Let's see. I think this is going to give me like a full arrangement of stuff here. Okay. I don't want five in in that kind of shape where they're gonna get hit by something okay this should be good but everyone spread out so you don't get stuck as easily and let's see what do i got oh okay i got five formations three of them arranged okay so that's okay two Spread out right there. Oh, they see it. I bumped into that thing with the with the flag, so it didn't put. Any, okay, one, one go there. Three, you gotta stop them kind of quick, or they just go for it. Okay, three go over there. 
Make sure. Where are they going? One? Isn't that you? Where are you? I guess that it's. Is they are they four? You're four. 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 Go right there. You don't need to go in there yet. Five. Go there. And four. They don't have any any like ranged siege gear to use against us, so we can all do this. But we're going to spread out, except for one and three. And then I gotta look and see if I actually if they actually like listened to me when I told them to go places. Otherwise, this is about it. Okay, now they're they're coming back. In, no, three. Go right there. I don't know why putting them in shield will make them all pull back there and turn backwards. Okay. Four, spread out. Two, spread out. Five, spread out. They're backed in too much there. Guys. I don't know. Maybe we'll just rush in this time because this... Let's see, which group? I wish I could have a little flag over each of these formations. Okay, everybody face the enemy. Those guys are ass backwards because I guess I didn't didn't face them properly after I dragged them. Anyways, yeah, I wish it would would have a little flag just saying like five, like up on top of those. At least for like sieges and stuff like this, where it's kind of hectic. And so I could know, you know, since it's all the same stuff, I have three different ranged groups here, which is not really my doing. It's just how the the siege. I don't know if you even want to call it AI, but okay. There's one breach there. Where's is the other breach here, or is it on the other side? Oh, it's up there. Okay. So three, three. You can come up here. Get ready to go into the breach. Did I put out? Okay, here comes a battering ram. Let's see, are you guys shooting? Some of them are. Okay, they're doing okay. I think that's an appropriate kind of position. We got that. Those ones way in the back there. They should be able to see up here too, though. Let's see. As long as they're shooting, they're doing something. Okay, and three. Are you in a shield wall? Get in your shield wall. See what the situation is going to look like when these guys go through here. It's like, oh, uh oh, oh no, no freeze, don't freeze. Thank you, thanks for understanding. Make shoot the back row. Magical shields. They said they didn't want to have magical shields and they added magical shields. But not magical enough. Ooh, okay. I think he killed something. No, you guys. I wish I could grab just these guys and tell them, no, you come over here and you attack. I don't know if I... If I want to try to send people through the, the gate, though, or through the breach. I guess I should look at each each breach. So that breach is full of dudes. Oh, they're coming out. So oh, he wants to go somewhere else to reinforce. So he has to walk outside. Throw stuff at me. Okay, this one. 
That's not as many dudes on this side. Yeah. Where are you going? You're gonna hit me? Don't. I wanna. Let's see. Can't see over to see if they've moved guys in front of the breach already. Okay, maybe we do. We'll just see. You do okay. One, I want you to advance. I want you to go in an organized manner through there. Three, you advance two. And then four. Four, you come up here. Four. Let's see. I don't know if I'm if that gear is for the wall or for the siege. Oh, it. Is. Oh, it is. Okay. Four. Yeah. You can go bust that down while they go in from the sides. So that'll be just fine. Oh no, but this is not just fine. This getting stuck on the. Okay. I wish I had my overhead so I can see. Oh, they're coming out. They're coming right out. Okay. That's actually good. I wish I could make them like swiftly run away. Like, um, if I put them on loose, they move faster. But there are a lot of them. They'll just get killed. But. This is still good though, because I mean these guys, like these are these are tougher than the infantry. Basically, they're gonna shoot them now, and then they're not gonna. Yeah, okay, they're trying to run away. They're trying to go back. They want to go back to their formation or their routing. I don't know. I like it the one when the. The siege participants will actually listen to me like this, so this is good. Okay, is this two? No, you're not two. What are you? What are you, five? You're five. Okay, five. You go up here. You can go in here, too. Yeah. Five. Five, right there, yeah. I guess three is just, I guess they just took a long time to come up here. Maybe they didn't get up here yet. Or maybe I misunderstood and where they wanted to go wasn't there. Three, get up there. Actually, oh no, three's, three is still, they did go there, okay. This is, this is very annoying. Two, two charge, just go in there, get, See those guys with their butts sticking out? Go kill them and help out the other formation. Go do it. You can just get in there. You guys are fairly fine. Okay. Three, you advance two. I didn't mean for you to come back out, but it actually worked out okay because we kind of pincered them right there. And then these guys, I don't know what they're doing. I thought they were going to go up here and hit the, hit the wall, but they're not. But it looks like they are, so maybe they just take their time. Maybe they just take their sweet time to go. It doesn't really matter now, though. It doesn't really matter now. Let's see, which group are you for? Yes, you're four. Okay. Okay, four. You can charge. Four charge. There's all kinds of kinds of funky stuff happening here but it's good it's better than just charging everyone at the beginning I mean I guess it really doesn't matter it's hard to actually look at it and compare like are you having more or less losses you guys running away already as I should look at the tab and see they may when they may be almost wiped out already no no keep fight Oh, keep fight. I'm killing you. Let's see. No, they still have some somewhere. Stuck in a thing again. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, good job. 
beat that guy up. And they say armor doesn't do anything. That guy took three hits to kill instead of two. <laughs> One guy stuck in a wall somewhere. Who died? Oh, that's a, such a big loss. I guess I should look to see if other important people died. Let's see. We'll find out after this. Or tell me down at the bottom. Yep, go on the prisoners. Okay, we'll take them all, sell them at the tavern, take all the junk. Go, and we have, we have to pillage or they get mad. Oh, there we go. And... Oh, look, I got a bunch of imp. Why did I get so much? Why did I get so much more influence? I mean, I get I get a lot a day. I feel like that was probably only five or six days, though. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, this town is nicely built up. That's a nicely built up town. Uh, they don't got much for food. You can help them out. Maybe. Maybe we can help them out. Let's see. Some grain. Give you half and half again. The, let's see. It will give me the slaughter on the when You know. Sometimes it does. Usually it doesn't. I don't know what determines that. Nope. Sheep aren't horses. Here we go. Give them some meat. And this stuff too. There you go. Our minds me. Let's see, what does Peric have on his body? He's got that's yeah, we have I think I have better things that you can equip. Is that better? Oh, that's better too. You can have that. 48 or 34, yeah. You can have that, that's better. Don't, don't stick your feet and stuff. Let me see. Anyone else? Who else is with me? I don't have any more. Oh, you. He's got he got this gear. This is the guy I'm going to stick in a castle if they take a castle while I'm out and about here. Let's see. First, we save. I see. I don't get anything I can actually give them in the garrison. I don't really want to put most of my stuff in this garrison, though. But this stuff is fine. So I should level up first, though, if I can. Bunch of good stuff here. It's not that good, but, you know. Okay. Like, if I can keep this, if I can keep this, then I just 
you know, I can use whatever garrison I feel like until I give it away, but if I have to make a clan on the spot, I want them to at least have a little bit of security that they... I don't want to give all the wounded troops away, though. Sister is still hungry for medicine. Okay, we'll keep that. 45 is fine for starting out. Save. I don't know if I want to keep them in an army here. I think... Let's see. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. I think I want to just boot them out now and make a new one if I need to. Um, I mean, let's see. Does it look like, are they... Okay, so the garrison is gone. They've still just got this. I don't know if it will let me just walk over here with them. Maybe it will. Maybe we'll keep them a little longer. Let's see. We'll leave before we... So we can look at the map. See, so there's this castle here. Now we've got Volstrom, which is another just medium-sized town. And can't tell if they're fighting yet, though. Looks like they're about ready to fight. Maybe we'll just go down there. And see if it will let us just join in with this army and just beat them up. And we'll also find out on the way if it'll let me just keep this or not. Then, if neither of those things happen, I'll reload and I'll do something slightly different. Okay. Yeah, I can. I'll do it. Give it to me. And then I can, I can give it to someone else later or make a new plan. Whatever's most convenient at the time. That's good. Yes. That was a good outcome. We can save our game. Go up here. Assuming it or let an army. All right. Yeah, we'll attack. Or we could send troops. Uh, let me see. I think it's always better to attack. They didn't bring, they have ballistas though, so this could be messy, but we're attacking anyways. So sending the troops will definitely take a large amount of knockouts, but it can be, it's useful just to get it over with sometimes. Ooh, this is an, oh, I don't know if I, I don't think I've seen this map before. This must be one of their, one of their updated maps. It might not be. It might be that I just didn't pay attention. But. Or that a vassal took this fief and I didn't. You know, I've never seen it before. But. This looks this looks new. It looks nice too. Okay. Everybody get up nice and close. Let's try to not be in the way of those ballistas. There you go. Everybody charge. No, I'll do it again. Everybody. <laughs> it's lagging. There's too many people on the thing. Okay. Let's see. Two. Don't shoot me with the ballista. Let's see. Two, get up nice and close. Get up nice and close there. Ballista can't hit you. Four, same thing. Get nice and close. Um, five and six. Okay, five. Yeah, five. Get nice and close. Six. Get close. Nice and close. And spread out. I don't think it matters in this case if the infantry is spread out or not. But what I don't want is for the, the ballistas to have a really easy time hitting them. So that's a good kill feed of them shooting down the... Uh, the militia archers. You're not seeing big hits from the ballista. Let's see. They can probably they might be able to hit with that one though. I killed the cons guard, of course. And always find a way to weasel in and take your best units. And this might be a situation where I might might have been better to actually put these away and just make them use the ladders. Maybe not, I don't know, but 
Let's see what we got. Yeah. Just these do take a while. And they're kind of sitting out here. Doesn't seem like the ballista is getting that much work. And they might be shooting at the siege towers too. Let me see. Are there ladders also? Or I think like if it blows up the siege tower, I think like you maybe the ladders spawn or something. I'm tempted to go swimming over there, but it might be bad if we get knocked out. Okay. One charge, three charge. Let's see who's... <laughs> There's one guy going up the siege tower. One guy at a time. Okay, every, everybody charge. Okay, that's loose. Now everybody charge. Please go up the siege tower more than one guy at a time. I don't know how, but see the thing is, is that like, you don't really, they can't all go up the siege tower at once anyways, so it's good to have some of them stay back here and fighting, like, if I can have some of these ranged units actually stay back and fight, you know, that's actually really good, but they're all mixed up and I don't know how that's going to affect them going up the ladder, like, if, I don't know, it, this, the way they just kind of stand in piles waiting to go up is bad. See now they're hitting something with the with the ballista. It looks like maybe not. Maybe that's at the top of the siege. Either way, this the siege gear was not very useful. I wonder if they. I don't know if if I'm just joining their battle. I don't know if they will let me put it away or not. I think it looked like I could though on the deployment screen. It let me play some. Oh, we'll just let this finish since this is this is about over. But let me see who's who's down here. Two. See, they're all they're all mixed up still. Okay. Is there somebody close by? I want troops that are close by. If you can actually go go through here, that would be good. Because you can just yeah you know, go knock that down. Go in there. That would help too. I'm assuming that command will make him do it. I'm not like it's supposed to, but Y M M V. Yeah, there's a few of them hitting it. Okay. Let's get it. Beach is over. Let's see. Oh, I guess those weren't my guns guards that got killed. So okay. Where's my, my clan mate? She made it may have taken my stuff out of the garrison. I just didn't know it. Now nah, we're it's okay. It's not a big deal. You have a thing here. Keep battles. Or Dom. Just send the troops. Someone died. Who is it? Who died? Is it a person or a troop? They'll find out in a second anyway. Okay, so that's fine. Continue and then... Okay, because I'm not leading it. I didn't get to choose whether or not to pillage it. So... Let's see. What are we going to do about this? Now, did they put... Since it's their army, did they put stuff in the garrison? No. You little jerks. You're supposed to... You're supposed to do stuff like that. I guess if you're with them, they just... It's all... All that goes out the window. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, make the granary. That's a good idea. Always default back to that. And let's see how it will deal with this now. Come here. 
Oops, oops, oops. Never mind. No, nope. gotta go now. We need to look at this stuff. Take back as this is their their borrowing stuff for why they're actually walking around in the party with me. You must relinquish all your gear to be reborn as a lord. Let me see now. Now we can talk. Yes. Now let's see. Okay. So it's not even being weird about it this time. It's just letting me do it. Yeah, you have Jorgis Castle. Yes. Go. Kyra Slobs. Gang. There we go. That's fine. I think he's sturgy and... There he is. Spawns right there. I have like four clans now that use that sigil. That's okay. Who's sieging Volstrom? Let's go check it out. First, I better go over here and take someone into my party in case they they actually get that. They actually get that town down. Where are you going? See, we're kind of just being real sloppy about this because um these towns like they're not in good shape i'm just kind of taking advantage of the fact that the southern empire isn't really in good shape either i don't think they can do anything back right now so I'll probably once we bulldoze them we can just say hey here's a little bit of money for peace go bother other people now Let me see. Teleport someone over here. Let's see. What I got left. Oh, I got a few of them. I got a few of them. I think you. You are the one. You can be the next one. Keep. These are all lords. I guess I'm, I'm just full of lords right now. Okay, now go. Seven. Okay, there you are. Now, come into my party. Save. Now we have an election here to actually elect who gets that castle. And of course we give it to our guy who doesn't have a castle who we just made a lord. Our power, and well, they're mad. They want that castle, even though they're far, far away. That's Spice Vendor. I don't remember which one I gave away. It's probably one of these, though. I could be wrong, though. Let's see. We'll head this way. We'll save often. In case we mess up some of this, this um, strategy stuff. Go over there real slow, but. Is that my, okay, they didn't, they broke off their seats, so we'll just go for it. See, that's like the kind of thing, like I messed up, like, um. Give me cohesion for free. Then we might have to like um we might have to No, it looks like we're okay. Like if they suddenly would join only someone else that or yeah, everyone come back. This could be a problem, like, if they don't really have food and they start to starve on the way over here where they're following me, that can be a problem. So they have some food. Oh, they have an army. Oh, well. They're... Good luck. Yeah, we'll 
taking your town. We're taking your town. Let's see, where's the other one? There you go. And all you can do is look. You can, you can watch. There, pause. Put it away. Press play. No, oh, no, bad. That was that was. I don't know how I misclicked that. Okay. Wait, we should just do this automatically. Wow. Just automatically put it in reserve. Although I don't understand exactly what reserve means. Like, are we hiding the giant trebuchet? And they can't see it and shoot it with a ballista. But, oh well. I'll, at least it works. But, um... I'm gonna see. There's a chance we have to reload and just do that again, just because that one took some hits. Like if they start blowing them up too quick with the ballista, then um, yeah, go in there, let them shoot. Then uh, it's hard to like make up for it. You can kind of do it by making orangers, but like if you just really mess up and you're you're not able to get enough damage in, it's better just reload and try again. I think we have, he has like perks to, I guess I should look at his perks. What do we got here? I got scouting, okay. That will be useful when I'm not leading a big army. Right now it doesn't really matter, but that's a really good perk. This one. I guess, yeah. I mean, I'm assuming that it, if it recategorizes dismounted, um, like cons guards and stuff as infantry when you're leading them in a siege. And not ranged. But if it, you know, I don't know. I don't know, because otherwise this doesn't matter. Because it's like, what, what infantry troops would I ever use that are using pull arms? None of them. Only, only dismounted cons guards. So troops in the formation you're leading have their pull arm increased. So the captain one, that one's okay too. It's just a little damage, but I don't know. Can't be a governor. So we basically had, we got to take that one because we get both effect. Well, I don't know. I don't know that my side losing morale in battle is, is a real concern. I don't think that, that, I haven't seen any of that really happen in a long time. Let's see, you, oh, that's right. Still holding off on what, what we give you next. Not you though, okay, 60 bow, you're coming along. Get... Give you cavalry, even though, as far as I know, this one still works for um for your damage either way. But it's not really about his damage; it's getting um. Well, I mean, neither neither one matters. What am I saying? We we'll take that one though. Neither one matters. Why does he has eleven attributes still? What What are we gonna do with you? Because right now I'm just letting him fight, but because he has plenty of control. So I guess for starters, you can do this stuff so that you can have a big. He has, yeah, because all this stuff, you can't do it unless he's leading a party. And really, he has to kind of lead it on his own, or he does. I don't know. I don't know if these things matter that much. Like if he's if I'm just dragging him around, his own scouting doesn't really matter. Um, but this will at least let him get a big, be able to hold a big party, and then of course these are these are useful. Uh, getting mounted troops. I think we want tough steed as the one we want. No, that's mount armor. No, it's Donald's. I don't know. I can never decide which one because getting a little more armor on the horses is good. But really, I guess we should do it for just for the troop. It's itself it's hard to say but yeah we'll do this for now because i don't think any of that stuff's going to be happening for you anytime soon you're stuck with me i didn't look at the guy the one guy 
that it was important to look at though. Let's see. You did you get a new perk yet? No, not yet. What are we looking forward to? Build rate fortification on that. You can craft fire versions of siege engine, maybe. Oh, they both do it though. Defensive siege engines. Okay. I mean, I guess this one is better. I could maybe use that to rebuild towns. Um, just so I'm not gonna be defending in a siege. It's just not gonna happen. But making a fire version is cool. I don't think I've done that before. Except maybe in early. I think in like early versions of the game you could build them anyways. Okay. You can... Yeah, you get this one. Hmm. <clears throat> Gained a level. Okay. And what if she's she's gonna be You're gonna oh that was someone else getting a level, it's not you. But you're gonna be in the fight here. We might as well slap some gear on you. I guess I might as well give you a sword and a shield. Since this isn't going to be like a huge protracted thing, I don't think. I don't know. None of these are that good. I guess this is probably the best one. Yeah, your armor, you borrow. Borrow. The borrowing armor. Wait, no, I've got another one. Okay, that's good. Do I have good? Oh, I do. There. These don't matter. These are just for now. Okay. Just for this battle. And then you're you're becoming a... You're going to become a lord. Probably, probably on the spot, because I don't think I can take this... This, um, feat for myself, so... We just bamboozle them. Give it to you. Oh, what's going on? Did some of them leave? I guess, do they start to leave because they're slow? I don't know what happened there. This is plenty, though. Okay. Here's the salt. Now this is my kind of assault because we took the, the walls down again. Let me do this. Spread everyone out, and then we look at, um, we're, okay, so we only have two groups. Okay, so two, come over here. I'm going to soften up a little bit. Five, five over there. So before we charge in there, shoot some of these guys down. They don't have a uh, siege weapons. Oh, and they're on hold fire, of course. I guess it just maybe it just no, because because there's certainly ones where it groups them in the, the two groups where they're not on hold fire. So I don't know. I don't know what to say about it, but we're gonna kill a bunch of these archers, and we're gonna run in there and mop it up. That's a, still a big party in there, so we might actually do this twice. We might weaken them, and then I guess I, guess I should do this. It has come about to me that um, I mean, I don't have an engineering FP, but 
If you did and you do this, I think you get engineering skill for hitting people with it. I don't know if this is the right one to hit people with it, though. Maybe. Let's see. We'll play around with it, though. Yep, okay. I pressed F. Am I doing it? Okay, I guess I gotta press forward. And then can I aim it as, um... I want to aim for the breach. We can get it right. Let's see where that goes. It landed on the top. Okay, so we want to go... Go back to the left a little bit and maybe down slightly. Okay, just gotta put put the rock in and then we add a little like that and then down a little. Oh, that was not over there, okay. Let's keep doing this. Okay, so... Okay, because I was holding up, it goes up all the way. So we want to just slightly, and then... There. Uh -huh, I don't think we got it. Let's see where else can we, can we try to get the other other breach over there? I don't know if we can with this one. No, I think that's the one to get, is that one there. Alright, so try to trust the line maybe and just can't really see where it is. Okay, so. Boulder and yeah, we didn't get them. Let's see how are we doing here on there. They still have some archers. Yeah, I don't. I don't think me and the trebuchet. No, I think we'll let the troops do the trebuchet. Now, if we could make the engineer actually use the trebuchet, he might be able to get some stuff, and that'd be pretty lucky, but... You guys, nothing to shoot at? Nothing to shoot at here? They still got 300 troops, though. Let's see. Alright, look at this map here. It doesn't really matter now, but it's, some of them have like little back doors and stuff that you can go in and it's pretty fun. Right around. Am I stuck? Invisible wall? No. Oh, yeah, I guess so. That makes me curious. So that makes me think there probably is a hole back there or something. Ooh, what's that? What's that right there? Is that a hole? Guess we're not gonna know. I don't think I can... Well, let me try this. Sometimes you can just... Oh, oh, no. Stick over here too. No, 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 no. Go back.
So... I'm looking at their militia archers is a good way to kind of gauge whether they're getting rid of those archers. But there may be a time where the archers just don't... They're not told to go to the wall anymore. I'm not sure. But... What I want to do is... I think now is a good time to do it. Because I think we've killed most of the archers we're going to be able to build. Retreat. Just to get rid of any chip damage anyone took from archers from sitting out there. So when we rush them in, they're fresh. It makes sense to me. Alright, everybody spread out. And everybody fire at well. Well, I'll just let them do their thing, I think, is what we want to do. Because hopefully the ones without ranged weapons will get up to the front first. They should have a little more athletics, too. And the archers can shoot. What archers show up here? Although. Might be better to stick them in in advance instead of letting them run up like this, but I don't know. I don't know, because they seem like they fight pretty well like this. Ooh. Yeah, I don't... That's not much of a wall block. Okay, I guess now they're showing up. I don't know. I can't, I can't explain what the enemy was doing there and why they weren't. I guess they don't start at position, so we just got there too fast, maybe? Some of these maps, they'll let you start really close to the wall there. Okay, turn around properly. There you go. Machine gun into this area here. <laughs> Machine gun them. They're running away. See, even if, like, all that stuff runs away... They only got like like 25 or 30 things to actually defend in the keep battle. So. Okay, where are you guys going? You don't have to go in the walls. Nope. Yep, everybody come down here. Everybody come down here. We don't need to go into the, into the wall area. Everybody come over here. First we come out here. Fight down here. And then... If we have to go into the walls to kill them, we can do that. But we probably don't have to. I think if everybody is just here, everybody faces enemy and is behaving properly, this is good. This is better than trying to go up in there and messing around. And here they come. They're still coming out. Let's see. Oh, there's one of them somewhere. Okay, nope. We got them. 95 of them ran away, though. So, 95 ran away. But, let's take a look at how many we actually have to fight. It says we still have to fight 95. I don't think it the in the key battle it will actually spawn that many waves. We'll see, though. We'll do this one and take a look. We'll take a look. We'll even put on, put on appropriate gear. We'll put on appropriate gear. We'll put on um. This and let's see what do I have. I mean, anything is appropriate gear, but we might as well put on a sword and a shield for this event. Because I'm pretty sure it just gives them like 25 or 30. I don't, not at once. I think it gives you a couple waves, but. Yeah, I don't really want to take Hans guards. I think uh, you guys will just get killed. You guys probably will be good. And Legionnaires. Um, those would be probably pretty good. And we can take some of this actual infantry in there. And if some of them die, it respawn in other stuff. Which is pretty annoying. It's actually really annoying. Yeah. 
Yeah, get this shield out. Okay. See, this isn't nearly as obnoxious as like some of the Kuzate ones. You, they spawn, you're like in the middle, and they have archers and stuff all the way up there. Because usually the ones that are left in the Kuzate stuff will be archers that run away. The, you know, this is kind of like a comical kind of thing here. Like, it's just militia. They didn't have anything else. I think I can try to. Yep. Oh, line of sight him. Get you faster, please. You have max bow skill, pretty much. Hug the pillar. Let's see, are there more? There's one more up there. Okay. Let's take a look here. Yeah, okay, so that's, they had 27. They only got 27, so there you go. Yes, and look at that. Oh, I guess I don't, I don't actually have that much influence. But I have an idea, I have a, I have a, we have to pillage it, yep. Oh, I got a bunch more influence anyways. Okay. I was going to say what I can do. Kick all these guys out. We'll do that anyways. And kick them all out. And then go hurry to someone else's fee. Because this one technically counts as mine. So it won't work. And give the prisoners to them for even more influence. So that I can make a plan right now. But I can do that right now anyways. I have 500. I can just do what I was going to do. And I can't say nothing about it. Give me back this. I don't know if, if you were deployed or not. But good job if you were. You didn't die. It's the most important thing. Did not die. I don't know if I have to take this stuff off. Because it was default gear. But we'll do it anyways. And... See, can I talk to her? I believe. Okay. And I'm all out of, like, like troops right now, so I'm not even bothering with the garrison either. Yes. I'm gonna give you Volstrom right now on the spot. Yes. Uh huh. And you're. Donny Sia's uh, Legion, is that? I wish there's no spell check on in the game. So I think that's how you spell that. But either you can have a leggy on if I did, if I spelled it wrong. That's fine. You can have a leggy on. Yep. And then, so we'll go back in here. What is this? I see now it will make me vote. But I can vote for her because it's the same old trick. She doesn't have a thief, so the game bumps her up in priority. Oh, it won't let me give it to her anyways. You little jerks. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Do over, do over. Okay, we'll have we'll force to do this, but then see, I didn't have to vote on that right at that second, so I have a I have a trick. I got a trick. There's always a trick. There shouldn't be a trick, though. You should just be able to play the game and give thieves to who you want and let them get upset about it and make wars when you want and have at least. Some control. You should at least have like one one person you can boss around and say, make an army and go over here. Okay, so this is it's gonna pop up, but we don't have to do it right away. So we go in here. Actually it didn't pop up that time, that's weird. Um 
go to dungeon. Oh, it won't let me donate stuff. That's so dumb. Let's see, what can I do? I guess I might have to give it to someone. It's gonna they're gonna give it to someone really stupid though, is what's gonna happen. Ah, how can I possibly get around this though? Sometimes there are ways. So I already made her Let's see, clan. Beefs. Got my beefs. Oh no. I need to go here. I have to go to I think I for my piece I guess I have to go here. Go to uh What is the one we just This one, okay. Um No, never mind. We have to go to this menu here. Go here and go to Peeps here. And gift it to. We'll give it. We'll try to do this the opposite way and see if this works. Give it to her. So now we have less peeps. I don't know why it's not popping up with a thing. Okay, there's the owner. I guess it just takes longer. Now I can vote for myself because I have one less fee. You see, before it wouldn't let me vote to just give it to the person who's supposed to have it. But now I can give it to myself and it's, it's just like I don't. I want to just do it without having to. um mess with it so much because i know all those are oversights too they don't want you to be able to um make new vassals during the interlude between elections they just they failed to properly set it up let's see what's going on we better go over there see what's going on where's my where's willow bark did she leave when my thing dropped down to her? that might have happened i might just have to disband her party or something let's see Better go over here. Or, or we can also, let's see. I should have sold those prisoners too. Consider it. I don't have influence to consider it. But, we can just let them go now too. Because we took their land. We don't need to do all this. Yeah, help them. I guess we probably don't really need to help them, but there you go. <laughs> okay. Where is my kingdom? I think because they didn't have enough um manage. Okay. Oh no, you're still here. Okay, good. You guys, you guys can go back to what you were doing now. We don't need to, but not, wait. No, that's, that's a different willow bark. Okay, you guys, yeah, just, just disband the army. <laughs> you don't, we don't all need to be in an army together right now. Go back here. There we go. We took all of Regea's land. Let's look at our... You wanted to declare war on the Sturgeons. I don't want to right now. I should have wished I would have saved the game before doing that. And maybe they, they can just not vote for war against Sturgeons. It's completely worthless. Okay, how are they doing here? Yeah, they're... They'll be fine. <laughs> I don't need to do that. What do I need? Oh. I have a bunch of prisoners. Wow, look at that. I see I I dragged it did them around too long. I really I usually like to just keep like one stack of stuff. 
So we can take these and spine. In fact, I should I should recruit those as crossbow men. Should be okay too. Yeah, we'll save one one or two stacks here. I don't want militia spearmen. I don't know. Okay, I'll recruit them. I'll recruit them. Well, looks like we're probably gonna have to go fight Sturgia. Not that Sturgia is scary or anything, but let's see. Were there any other? These will take a little longer to recruit. Um, trained art. Yeah, we'll take have three. Just take their archers pretty quick there. Um, hmm. Oh wait, Volstrom is mine. I'm confused. I'm confused because I, I gave away the other one. So this one is mine. So I, I have to kind of take responsibility for the garrison and stuff. But, oh, they have, they have a fair amount of stuff in there anyways. Give them all this. We just want a positive security. We don't want a huge issue with it, but it's not. It's not like a big deal either. Let's see. Their food. They need more food. We can go round up some food for them. Give them a little bit of what we've got. Again. So. Let me see. What time is it? Do they need to go, but. Like, this would be a good time to go, but I should probably also go get that food before I forget. Because if I don't, you know, like, if I forget, I'll just walk off and go do this bullshit. And it'll run out of food. Although it might not. It's pro It'll probably be fine. Let me see now, though. Can I go to the... Can I give them... Oh, this is this is my dungeon. I keep. Yeah, come out. Not you. Go in there. This is mine again now. I'm gonna get confused every time I look at it. That like this is mine. Let's see. Do I want to take those? I'll take a huge stack of trained archers. Those, yeah, those two. Those are good. And we'll go looking for some food, and we'll see. We don't... Actually, we'll head this way. I have a little idea over there. Let's see. It says we have a herd. I don't believe it, though. I don't believe I have that many horses to have a herd penalty. These don't count as horses. They do. They give me carry capacity, but they don't actually... We're herd penalty, so... I mean, okay, so 50. I don't know. I feel like that's like a an error, and like it's gonna go away if I just. Let's see. No, oh well. Oh, that's right. I guess I own Phycon too. Okay, so let's go over here. First, we'll do this first. First, we will do this. This business. If it'll let me. We will donate. Go to the dungeon and donate prisoners. And give them all these. And then we'll have influence. And then we can, can vote on something. Because we either want to block. I mean, I guess that there's not really a reason to block the war on Sturgia. It's just not a very useful war for us. Let's see. Also, it might cost more than that to do it, depending on how many people vote for it. You know, just like trying to take thieves up here, and go through here. It's just not. It's not very valuable to me. So, like, even if I go take these ones, I still have to travel kind of a ways. We defend them when there's more wars. It's just it's not good. This era I wasn't really good either. It was like the same reason that just all these clans that you place down here 
they have to travel so much further to join armies or do anything and then to get back and you know it's just th these really it's like i want to say a sarai and sturgia should be like the last places you conquer i mean if you're starting here which i would say you either want to start over here or over here landia this is really good too then you want to just go straight through the middle expand out until you get to the other end and then do these these are like your last campaign to just finish the game off it's not what we did though because you know we had to fight this Sarai a couple times and i just felt like i would rather just finish them off than keep making peace with them because they are really annoying to fight they're probably when they're in good shape they're probably the strongest faction who's it is like arguably j just as bad but um when they're not in good shape they're not as bad they're more annoying they're kind of annoying to fight all the horse archers but unless you let them really build up with the horses they're not as bad as this area can be these are all easy sturgia they're kind of easy although i mean they're always it just depends like if they're in good shape They'll kill some of your good troops where you're fighting just because, you know, they have a lot of stuff with throwing weapons. and But they're still not that hard. But Imperial stuff, that's easy. Britannia, Britannia doesn't even exist anymore. Britannia has been completely wiped off the map, it looks like. Yeah, I should screen cap that later. I don't have much to say... But, I mean, you can see, obviously, the two factions that I've taken out have taken land over here. I can't say for sure they took it from Batanians or if they took it from another faction that took it from Batania. But Batania is all carved up. And it used to be a lot of times it would be the Northern Empire that would get, like, carved up or one of these empires first. But it does seem to be, in the recent versions, it's pretty consistently Batania. But, let me let me... Put some food in that town before I forget. Let me check on your food too. How are you? Oh, you have food. Everything's fine. Get get some renown. We'll make some more clans too. So what we can do if we have to go to war with Sturgia is just go beat him up. Use the renown to catch up on making clans. And does not really bother with him that much. Oops, 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 nope, nope, wrong fish, wrong, wrong fish village, go to this one. I'll get some troops too, I forgot, I don't have my, my wanderer with me anymore, I should, I think your party was almost empty, so I don't think, um, no, I don't want to do that right now, thank you. I want, let's see, she shouldn't be that far away, though. This lady here. Right? It's you, isn't it? Yeah, it must be, because you have funky gear. And you cost zero influence. Yeah, you come back to my army so I can get leadership. And buy all your food. We should go buy it from our own grainy villages, too. This, I bet their food situation comes right around, though, because... Let's see. Well, maybe not. Okay. We do your, give you those fish. Fish, fish for you. Oh. It doesn't look rated. It could be, though. No. Nope. Been surprised before lately when I go up to a village that looks like it's okay and it's actually been rated. Yeah, we'll go we'll go buy all this stuff. How's our thing going here? I guess we do have a little hard penalty. It's going away though. But it goes away now as she probably has lots of Okay. So if we wanna vote no, it costs us Okay. I'm gonna 
make a little a little complaint here. So everyone wants war with Sturgia. Why? Why is Sturgia such a good good thing to attack here? I don't know. Maybe we can find out. They're not particularly weak in any way. They're not in a good position for taking control of or having thieves in. But the vassals, they've all voted. Look at that. They all vote. They all want war on Sturgia. Everyone wants to speed up Sturgia. It's going to cost me 765 influence to block this vote. Which, of course, I don't have that much because I, I, I'm I, smart and I spend it all to make clans. And uh, to keep useful wars going so we can expand the territory. So, yeah, I don't have that much. So, we got to vote no. Or we can't vote no, rather. So, we have to vote yes. Which is weird. I think it should be like an objection. Like, you can't vote, but you want it on record that you don't support this war. You guys are stupid. You've got to do that. Now, of course, the alternative way to do this would have been if you save your game often, you can just reload your game when they when you see the notification pop up. But uh, that gets annoying because you have to do it a lot because when they want something, they're going to just keep doing it. But, okay, Sturgia is really not very useful land to take. Taking these thieves and making clans here, or giving them to, you know, even the even the ones right here, even the clans that control these thieves right here, having to go all the way over here, especially like once we get past tile, it just takes them too long. It's not very useful, it's just more of a liability than anything else. It means that your clans are going to be going over here more often, so it takes them much longer to join armies or to protect their own territories if they need to, if they need to come down here to fight these factions, you know, it's just not good. Like this, really, Sturgia and Sarai, I just said this, but I'll say it again. They should be like the last factions that you, you take out. Um, just because the vassals that you place here have to spend so much time traveling back and forth to get to the other places. It's much better to take all of this first and have these two be the last places you conquer. Just go straight through the middle. But vessels don't understand any of that stuff. They don't understand any of it. All they, they probably just detect maybe like this castle here. Let's see. Is it weak? It's not even weak. That's a normal castle. That's a normal town. They're not particularly weak. Like their power level when we look at their, look at their diplomacy. And we already, we have a war here. This is like a war name only. We can just. We can make peace or not. They're com they got nothing. They can't touch us. But you know they're not particularly weak. They're not particularly rich either. There's there's just no reason to be attacking them. But okay, so enough about that. Vassals are dumb. Vassals make the game really annoying and unfun. It's also though you know you get bored of just cutting everyone's head off too. So you know this. You, you want to sometimes make a kingdom and have vassals and not just kill everyone on the spot. But this kind of stuff is annoying. So I would really much rather maybe you could talk to your vassals and propose that actually, actually, Western Empire is really good. Because, like, look at this. You could just walk in and take this. There's nothing they can do. We can take that and we can start taking this too. They're. They've got all this stuff here. We could just grab. They can't do anything about it. They're a pushover. This would be the thing to do. Northern Empire would be fine too. But really, Western Empire, then Northern Empire. Um, I guess you, you would go back and forth between the two. Because Western's kind of spread out. But, yeah. Vassals are dumb. I don't want to have... Like, it's just... It's basically not worth it right now making making clans and stationing there. So it just means basically I, I need to go beat up some armies until they want to want peace. But I would rather do that down here. I would rather do what I want to do as the ruler of my faction. Okay, end of that rant. And actually, end of this stream. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go because I start to get overheated from my anger at playing the game. But you have a good night. Thank you for stopping by and watching. See you again soon.